Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destin. Welcome back to another reading. I hope all is well with you. If you're new to my channel, please like the reading. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the love and support that you have shown me. I greatly appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook if you're looking for a different avenue to, to scope me out. I'm over there, guys, okay? Sometimes I go live, but not a lot no more. I'm trying to build that platform. But hey, you can still go over there and follow me, like the page. I will leave that information in the description box. Yes. Yeah, if you guys want to book me for a private reading, I am available. Yeah, this is my second time trying to get this reading out. Someone has a message for you tonight. Now take this reading. How it resonates, don't try to make it fit. If it's your story, it's your story. Always remember that there are thousands of people, you know, you don't know who's going to see the reading. So it may not be for you, but it may be for them. So just take it how it resonates. This could be a twin flame that has this message for you. This could be a soulmate. Okay, this could be an ex. This could be a current partner. This could be you and how you're feeling towards someone tonight. Okay, take the reading how it resonates. But overall, someone wants you to know that they are so tired. He's tired of running. She's tired of running. This could definitely be a twin flame type of situation. You guys are currently not in separation. I'm even willing to go as far as to say you guys are not even talking, okay? There's no contact, no communication on the physical realm between you and this twin flame at this time. Yes, this is what I'm feeling. But they want you to know that. And they're tired of running. They're sick, and they're sick of it, okay? Wow, <laughs> they're sick of it. I'm hearing they're sick in the head over you. So this twin flame has a really really unhealthy attachment or obsession with you now it may not be unhealthy to you depending on your views of obsession and what do you think of that some people may find that sexy or flattering that someone is obsessed with them but this twin flame is definitely has a deep obsession that you may you may call really 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 not normal with you okay out of this world obsession with you yeah, you wonder if he's so obsessed with me. She's so obsessed with me. Why are they not with me? Why is he not with me? Why is she not with me? You know what? This person is not with you. You're not with them because at the end of the day, there are still lessons that need to be learned between both of you. Your twin flame, he may be in the process of closing out a karmic cycle or she, or he may be in a karmic cycle or two. Okay, remember a karmic cycle it's not always a marriage or a relationship, although that's here. The possibility of him already being with someone else is there, okay? Or her. Yeah, your twin flame may be a Pisces. Yeah, he may be turning 43, 44 this year. You may be turning 27, 36 years old this year. Pay attention to angel number 333 as well. That is going to be the angel number that's going to be resonatable for this particular message. When you see angel number 333... Know that your guardian angels, they got a hedge of protection around you. They're with you. That's also going to be a confirmation to you that your twin flame is thinking about you. You know what? He's already pretty much let you know, opening up the reading, that he's obsessed with you. He's always thinking about you. You know, for the purpose of this reading, I'm going to call him a he, okay? But, you know, if it's a she, if this is you, this is you. This could be how you're feeling towards someone tonight. It may not be a twin flame, Okay? But whoever this person is, but I'm definitely picking up on twin flame energy. He could be in the process of still going through lessons, as you may be as well. I feel like you both are being cultivated individually here. You know, you guys may not be physically together, but spiritually you're already connected. Okay? You guys are connected at the heart chakra. You communicate through the heart chakra, the crown chakra. You guys share a chakra system, okay? This is no ordinary love. Okay, I've been picking up on Sade, you know? She's an amazing singer. I believe she's a twin flame singer. I believe she's a twin flame. Go listen to that song. This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. This is not no ordinary love. This, And I'm also hearing this is not new. Some of you, this is not new. This is your twin flame. Okay, it's not a new situation for you. But this love is not ordinary here. 
So there are some lessons that still need to be learned. You know, we're human. We're in the body. We're in the flesh. We're going to continuously go through cycles where we have to learn things. <laughs> Bless you. Confirmation. You may be a Taurus. Your twin flame may be a Taurus. I'm here in Scorpio. But we continuously go through cycles in our life. and never, ever stops. This twin flame of yours is currently in a... I'm here in, um, I'm here in the time of his life in a karmic cycle. That could be friendships, relationships, lessons that he currently he has to master and learn. Because remember, especially if you are operating in your high priestess, divine empress energy, you got to remember your spiritual team, they're just not going to let anyone in, okay? They're not even going to let your twin in if he's on low vibrational levels. It's just not going to happen. But on this very day, in this very beautiful energy that I'm feeling as I do this reading, he wants you to know that he's never going to let you go. She's never going to let you go. They're feeling kind of lost without you, okay? This person wants to dive deep with you on the emotional realm. I feel like this person may have like a Neptune and Scorpio. They may be a Pisces once again. You know, you may be hearing from him or her in Pisces season. I feel like this person has a very prominent water placement in their chart. He may have a Cancerian moon, a Scorpio moon, a Pisces moon, okay? If you know your twin, you know his birth chart, you know, you already know what his moon placement is for some of you, okay? But this person wants to dive deep with you. This is someone that he doesn't want you to be, you know, I'm hearing unbiased, but he doesn't want you to be ashamed or inhibited, okay? He wants you to be free and uninhibited. He doesn't want you to have any hiccups about your sexuality or your body or your looks, okay? Because he loves you completely, okay? Yeah, he loves you completely for who you are, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you may feel like initially he may have judged you or, or didn't want to date you because of, way, of the way you looked, but on some level, initially, you shook his world the moment he met you. Yeah, this person may have had a lot of pressures to have a certain standard that, that he's always lived by. And, you know, that's that ego, that flesh, that 3D thinking, okay? It's like the guardian angel team had to get his ass together and let him know, hey, and this is your divine empress. This is you. When you knock her down, you get knocked down right along with her on some level when other people knock her down and they are completely knocking your ass down too so this person is completely aware of that now that may be part of his lessons that he had to go through or her once again take it how it resonates but this person doesn't want you to be ashamed of your body he doesn't want you to be ashamed of anything i feel like this person wants to feed you strawberries and whipped cream this is someone that wants to make love with you in the in the ocean, in the pool, in the bathtub, okay? <laughs> this person is definitely into whips and chains, okay? Blindfolds. He wants to see you in some high heels. You know, dominate him. Put that leash around his, you know, his neck and just, you know, do your thing, okay? This is somebody that wants you to dominate him, okay? He's very, very deep, a very sexual man, Okay, take it how it resonates. I have to keep saying that because people get in the comments, guys, and they just be so rude. And it's just like, I hate to cut the comments off. Okay, so once again, if it's a woman, take it how it resonates. If this is you and how you feel towards someone else, take that how it resonates. But you got somebody that's deep as hell on a sexual realm on your hands. It feels like torture not being with you. It feels like torture not touching you. I feel like this person has a soothing touch. Look at the hands. The way he caresses you will definitely be... It's going to put you at ease. It's going to put you at ease. You may, you may play an instrument. Your person may play an instrument. He may be a musician. You may be a musician. You may like horses. He may be an animal lover. And particularly, he may have a farm or he may have a horse or two. Yeah. I'm hearing something about a traveling gypsy. So he may travel a lot across the world, across the country, performing arts. Okay, I'm definitely hearing a musician. 
Yeah, this person is very insightful and very deep. They got a deep well of knowledge that a lot of people just like you, you know, you're both a very spiritually gifted and talented. This person is giving me, yeah, he, he, he has a very deep well of knowledge that can benefit other people. That's part of his gift and talent. I'm definitely hearing that he's extremely wise. He may be single at this time. You may not know that. You may know it. He may be getting ready to be single. He may be 26 years old. I'm picking up on a single person's energy here. I feel like you both may be single at this time. Yeah, he may. I'm hearing he's, he, he's still finding himself on some level. But you're always a part of him. Okay, you're always a part of him. He may. It's almost like you see he's holding her hand right here in this photo on my right with the number one above it he's holding her hand but this this is your hand this is your hand this is his imagination you're the star of this show for him everywhere everywhere he goes you're with him he's holding your hand you guys are together you guys are one although although at this at this time you guys are separate okay you may be physically separate for some of you this is a twin flame because i just saw angel number one 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 Okay, although you guys may be separated in the physical sense of the word, spiritually, he's holding your hand everywhere he go. He takes you everywhere. There's a piece of you that lives with him, and it goes everywhere with him, and it's the same way with you, okay? You take a piece of him everywhere you go. Everything you do, he's a part of it. He's a part of you. Wow. He may be experiencing a deep well of emotions at this time not being with you. Yeah, he may be dealing with a lot of his shadow energy. You know, we all do. We all do. We all do. That's part of his lessons, okay? We're never going to be to the point where we're going to be perfect. Let's just face it. But the twin flames, soulmates, they should get to a point where they come to the, the stage of the surrender, where they come into full union. Now, let's just be honest here. It's not going to happen for everyone this lifetime. But if this is your story, just pray that it does. Have hope if it's, if it's something you want. If it's something you want to happen, have faith and hope in it. Okay, some of you guys are completely not worried about him at this point. And when I say him, I'm talking about your twin flame. You completely have given up. You've given up. You've given up on this connection. And he wants you to know he feels that loss. He feels that. Okay, he feels that. He said he regret letting you go. For some of you, this is an ex. Okay, for some of you, this is a twin flame. He feels that emptiness and that shallowness without you. Yes. Mm. I'm hearing you're like his silent partner. This is sweet. You're like a silent partner that's always with him. You know, that, that voice that always reassures him that you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're, I'm hearing you're not going to die alone. He may have a fear of dying alone. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you may have a tattoo on your hand. There's very there's something very significant, very, very significant about the way he caresses and touches. Okay, this is this is somebody that wants you to be dominant, but baby, believe me, he knows how to get dominant too. But he, he wants somebody that is unbridled and you know un unbiased and you know uninhibited. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely hearing that he loves your freaky side. He loves that. Don't be afraid to show that. And if you are shy and, and um, you know, bridal and kind of scary or shy about those type of things, this is someone that's going to caress you, okay? He's going to get you there. It's gonna, he's going to make you feel comfortable. Remember, twin flames and soulmates, these people have natural connections. They feel naturally comfortable around each other. You know what? This is real right here. This person wants you to know, you know, he could hear you. He could hear your thoughts. She could hear your thoughts. He knows that you want a loyal companion. And he knows he hasn't always been in those energies to give that to you or to be that for you. This is why he stayed away. Okay? I mean, you know, sometimes it's better for them to stay away than to come in and hurt you. I'd rather you stay away than to come in and hurt me. Okay? So, sometimes you got to look at the silver lining as to why they stay away. Let them learn the lessons that they need to learn. You continue to grow. You're becoming a mega giant. A lot of you beautiful souls are already mega giants. <laughs> and you got a mega powerful spiritual team that watches and protects over you. I see angel number 1444. Go research that number. When you see that number, just know that your twin flame, he's thinking about you. I love you.